Hello, good evening, and welcome to another episode of Five Games, Five Minutes from www.aconelectron.co.uk. Hard Hat Harry is an evil public domain platformer from the www.retrosoftware.co.uk stables. Though it was released in 2011, it was meant to be the type of platform game available in 1983. It features you, as Harry, collecting mugs of tea. You also have to avoid a plethora of different animals intent on doing you in. I call this an evil platformer because it deceives through its simplicity. There are the usual controls, including return to jump, but there's no duck king, and jumping rarely clears any of the demon animals. Hence, you're actually relatively defenceless unless you avoid everything that moves by running out of its way. Your path often takes you into the line of sight of some evil monkey lobbing spanners or a low-flying bird. Avoiding these projectiles is almost impossible. On top of this, some of the colours really clash. Yellow on Scion, for example, so it can be difficult to even see the spanners in the first place. Movement, on the other hand, is fluid. Collision detection is almost too perfect. There's also a big variety of baddies and plenty of opportunities to find yourself swearing out loud in frustration. Chucky Egg by a Software is one of the Acorn Electron's finest kinetic experiences. This, however, is Chucky Egg 2009, the same game with a whole new set of levels and a level editor. There are a whole load of Chucky Eggers out there that have probably never seen this version. The basic aim is the same. You need to run around, avoiding birds and collecting the 12 eggs on each screen. Each time you collect the last egg, you begin over again on a new screen. Then, after eight of them, it all kicks off when, instead of avoiding the birds, you have to avoid the mother hen itself. And don't even get me started on what happens after eight more screens. The editor is a tad buggy, but it brings a whole new dimension to the game itself. That said, the eight new levels included with Chucky Egg 2009 are far harder than the original levels, calling for far more thought. You cannot run around half as fast as you can in the original. On to the next inclusion, which is a whirlwind tour of the original introductory cassettes from Acorn Computers. The cassette includes a selection of programs, the majority being graphical demos such as Island, Planets, Polygons, Patterns, and, well, more patterns. By far the best inclusion is Gamoku, a little basic game of Kinect 5, in which the computer plays an intelligent game. The other so-called games, including Bug Zap and Mars Lander, frankly are pants. I'd sooner meet the Grim Reaper than play either of them. There's a reaction test at finding a particular key in the form of keyboard, and there's also a rather poor sound program where you can tap out some music, if you must. The cassette was also ported to disc when Acorn Computers released the Plus 3 disc expansion, although typically for Acorn they didn't add any programs to show off the power of the disc format. I suppose it does what it says on the box. It introduces you to your computer. It could have been a lot better though. P.S. It's also available officially translated in German too. In Killer Gorilla you get to rescue a damsel in distress. Or at least I think you do. The game really can't decide if it's Donkey Kong or King Kong. The object of your affections wails pitifully at you, even though the gorilla's miles away from her, and you must scale four different screens to reach her. Wait a minute, did you just say only four? I'm afraid so. Worse news, the screens are not even all that difficult to conquer. There are ample hammers scattered around, and with these you can smash the falling barrels and fireballs to pieces. When you finally reach the object of your affections, you get to give her a quick snog before the jealous gorilla moves in to steal her again. Even after the four levels, you just get a wraparound to the first one again. The fact you can't climb when holding the hammer is frustrating, as is the random nature of the way it swings and the way the conveyors alter direction on a whim. One of the earliest Electron games, Killer Gorilla is little to recommend it now. Boxer is quite a unique little platform game written by Wal Mansell. In the reggae ragamuffin style. In it, you play a boxer who must climb and descend the ropes of a four-story gymnasium. In the reggae ragamuffin style. The objective is to headbutt balloons caught in the rafters of each level. You need to headbutt five of them to win each stage. If you let five of them get away, then you lose a life. You also have to avoid boxing gloves, hammers and dumbbells which float or fire across each story at different heights. 
Those at chest height can be punched to make them disappear, but this needs near pixel perfect accuracy. Now Boxer does have the distinction of being the most ubiquitous title ever released for the Acorn Electron. That said, it is fairly playable. The graphics are good and it's challenging enough to be quite addictive. The levels get harder as it progresses, and it has the usual thrills of an Acorn Soft type. In the Reggae Ragamuffin style.